last time we talked about Minimax and really its rules. We were trying to specify specifically about Minimax and its workings. And well, it's very interesting because artificial intelligence by itself doesn't know the difference, for example, between a flat set and incomplete set. We need to tell it to well give a numerical value to it and then if I compare which is the highest which is the lowest it actually a lot of stuff and it's very interesting because today we're going to build on that and well see exactly how a game would well play along considering those rules so you need to watch this to make any sense and so you visit my last video and you will have the idea of what we are actually talking about since I am rebuilding from these rules to explain well what's going on here, what's going on or how Minimax does stuff pretty much how it, in this case play a game of tic-tac-toe so it actually starts pretty simple we have again the uh, function players and we always start with X in this case. Again, let's remember my this state is this initial state. It could be the middle of the game, but in this case, it's just well the uh, the board denotes anything. So let's go forward. And the artificial intelligence, in summary, you see this. You will consider each possibility, and well, by considering each possibility, it can choose, well, at least here in this interpretation, anything. After all, there is nothing here that tells that, for example, this would be better than the middle, and what would be better than this right one. So we can choose this right away. Now, here. Uh, becomes very interesting because when we have the actually here sorry but it will become very interesting after this because after my well the O player or the circle player has to choose and since there is not much here I mean technically probably it would be a Better, um, not exactly a better choice, but it might favor here because it you can you know stop it uh, X from spreading. Mm, let's say in this interpretation, it goes down here. For example, it will be a logical, mm, it will be a logical uh, relation. Now X again, it will it doesn't have many choices, so you can choose here. But now it's very interesting because O will see that. From here, uh, from this point, I only have pretty much one only choice. Though technically all of them are, you know, uh, you, they, are, they are actually considered. Only one is what we need to do. If not, we lose the game. So we need to stop the streak here. So we do this, and now the game becomes interesting because. From now, you can see that I have, well, X now needs to decide, and there's a lot of choices, but the only real choice here, if you don't want to end the game right away, is going here. After all, any other choice will lead to, not death, but it will lead to the loss of the game. We will explain more specifically how it sees what's a better choice. Now, let's say for example in this case, it chooses here, um, not in this case, yeah, I mean in this case because of how the game is playing. So consider how the game is playing, it is chosen now very efficiently, and this will actually it's going to keep going, doing this. Here I have many choices, uh, I just actually have one. Or it appears I have many choices because it will cross a diagonal here, as you can see. So it will uh, put here this thing here, my circle here, and then I have.
have x and x will have a very interesting thing because actually pretty much of the games are the same it will again stop the circle from completely enlarged and then the circle uh, circle will stop uh, stop the x from well uh, ending this the line and it will inevitably win because as you can see here it makes a diagonal which is in this case a status of min minus one considering in this case particular my artificial intelligence is well or we are looking at pretty much from the experience of x so this is almost a loss after all uh, X is the maximizing factor. X is trying to get the biggest value. The big value is one. One. When, well, X wants. And in this case, it was minus one, which is usually the lowest value. So it's a loss for the max part, but it's a win for the mean. mean. But it's very interesting because, again, it's a very interesting way how it chooses to do all this. And it may, if you, I, 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 again, it's a tree, a theory, okay? But I think if you mess up a little bit of the code, you plan an infinite loop about it because of it. Or not the code per se, but just on the log logical part. It was very interesting. Because from here, let's take, for example, this part per se. It was going to be very long to play out everything. Let's take here. Here I have two choices. I have either I can put my circle as a circle, okay, as a circle. I can either put the circle into the top left or left position. Those are my choices. And well, these choices and they are carefully thought about for the intuition intelligence and they will compare what I will gain from these choices well consider here for example here I expand even further and in this situation when I put the circle in the left part in the, in the uh, left left top I will end up with a diagonal from me from the player hole which is the minimizing player and considering if I put in the well uh, left middle or just left the X will complete and here is actually the interesting part here I will try to predict what it could what the op opponent would, could do in this case it just has one choice so it's pretty obvious what you can do and because of this I compare these values and I can see here the value is of 1, and here is the value of minus 1. And so, of course, this is the better choice. But here is an interesting part. This is probably a set of another previous choice. But how does this work? Well, the same thing here, the same type of, well, pattern of trying to execute an idea is applying out throughout. Remember when I said it would be too long to make a game from the beginning? That's because, well, this little part I try to over, in this case, I think I kind of oversimplified, or you could say I just simplified here. Um, this part in specific, where I have option of putting X. Each of this will spawn a response, so uh, sorry, it will have it will consider by that method you saw, it will try to consider each single well, square, each single possibility. And each single possibility considered here will consider how the open the opponent try to do it. And it would then consider how it will do against the impossible move. So in this case, it's, well, a lot of possibilities. In fact, 
in fact, Tic Tac Toe is by far the longest game, but it's incredibly complicated if you think through a machine process. Because it will, again, in this specific min max condition, uh, it will consider every single possibility, and every single possibility pretty much sprouts a tree. And these three branches expand pretty much per not nine per se, because it will get narrower as the game progresses. As in this case, not exactly narrow, but it will expand slower. So it would be like a pyramid and then you slowly get to around it. Uh, and Tic Tac Toe, in fact, has about. Not about. I, I took this from the internet, so maybe a pinch, a pinch of salt, but I would not. Uh, uh, I think the math checks out. It would be uh, about uh, 255,868 moons, in which, well, every single one of them would be considered for our artificial intelligence experiment. <coughs> Believe it or not, but uh, because imagine every single, in this case, again, I have nine possible moves here, as you can see. And from these nine possible moves, then there are eight possible moves that uh, my opponent can have. So, pretty much from one choice, I am sprouting nine others. I have nine choices just from this one. And these nine choices get multiplied by eight choices. Actually, uh, yes, but each individual nine from here, I spell pretty much this uh, times 9, because I have 9 choices here, and each single one of them times 8, and every single one of that times 7. So, again, it's a tree of multiplication. And it's very interesting, um, but becomes long, becomes extremely long, so they have to simplify it. In tomorrow's video, I will show exactly how it's done. No, it seems kind of odd, but again, the simplification does not mean it's simple, as weird as it is. Um, it's a much clearer process, but you will see exactly what I mean. But for that, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell, as you will see exactly when the next video comes around. So, well, you can see what happens, so you can see how we can do this extremely complicated and ginormous process. After all, Tic Tac Toe is an incredibly simple, simple game. Um, and well, consider uh, well every single possibility, even if it's an incredibly well, incredibly simple game. It, imagine something like chess. This literally has millions, if not billions, of choices. So. Uh, perhaps one day I will show how to well, how artificial intelligence. Probably I will program it because then I, I will have a lot of slides to show. But again, if you want, you are interested in, in seeing how Minimax can be better, uh, a show better interpret. Please like and subscribe again. Hit the notification bell so you receive the, the video. Not just that, but comment down below any. Well, questions you have or any idea or uh, perhaps things about artificial intelligence in general, suggestions perhaps. And I think I see you in the next video. Goodbye. Woo!